Hi there and welcome to the Glue Stitch Knowledge Center. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to be talking to you uh, about a question I get all the time at trade shows and this question is surrounding flow control. So I have people come up to the booth and they say, Jamie, I'm having some difficulty um, controlling the flow of the product when I apply it to the site. What can I do? What are some tips and tricks you can give me um, so the glue doesn't run into areas uh, that I don't want it to? I appreciate that question. I get it. I hear you because it's glue after all. You want the glue to stay exactly where the target site is, where it's intended and not have it run into other areas because it is difficult to remove. So the first thing um, I always recommend, I always ask is, are you using the high viscosity formulation? So the high viscosity formulation of our periacryl is only available in the 5 ml multi-use bottle. So if you have um, the 2 ml bottle, which is the smaller one, or you have either the violet or the clear single use units, those are not available in high viscosity yet. Uh, for now, just the 5 ml. So make sure you're using the 5 ml bottle um, it's about nine times thicker than our original formulation, so more the viscosity of, of uh, olive oil or honey instead of water. <clears throat> um, the second thing that I always recommend is that you don't squeeze the bulb too hard. Bulb with a pipette. You want to squeeze it very gently, so I'm going to go ahead and take some glue out of the bottle. Gently let go. Load my pipette. What you want to do is just squeeze the pipette hard enough so that a drop of glue comes to the end of the pipette. Just like that. And then you can contact the surface that you want to apply it to and you're going to get a very small drop that comes off. If you squeeze the bulb too hard, which is easy to do, um, you're going to get a large drop or possibly two or three drops and that's when you're going to run into some some potential difficulties with the glue uh, migrating into areas where you don't want it so you want to make sure the site is clean and dry so not actively not actively bleeding um, and then just a micro drop is the expression i like to use a micro drop of the, of the glue um, once it contacts a moist surface it's going to start to set moisture activated um, so you can put it on the surface, it'll set in about 30 seconds. Uh, you can accelerate the polymerization time by um, introducing some extra moisture, water, saline, saliva, um, off a glove finger, a wet cotton gauze, a wet um, cotton tipped applicator, um, and repeat that process. So micro drop, get it wet, let it set and repeat that process two, three, four times, depending on the surface size um, that, you, that you need to cover. Uh, the next tip that I always like to give people is we do have pipettes available um, that are micro pipettes. So they are actually quite a bit smaller than the uh, pipettes that come standard with the kit. So the diameter of this pipette is about half the size, the opening. So uh, when you squeeze out a drop, it's going to be about half the size. So that's another um, thing to consider if you're having, if you think these other pipettes, the regular ones are, are too big, the drops you um, squeeze out are too big. Consider the micro pipettes. They are available uh, on our website as accessories and um, they work just the same. Um, you can take the glue right out of the bottle just like that. You're not going to waste any of the only drop, just the amount you need. That's less than 0.1 milliliters and you know that's all enough for a lot of surgeries. So consider the micro pipettes, make sure you're using the, the high viscosity and that technique that I showed you about not squeezing the bulb too hard, just enough to let the drip drop fall at the tip of the pipette. <clears throat> and hopefully that should um, solve any issues you're having with flow control if you are having any. So thank you very much for tuning in and please check out our website for uh, ordering information, some additional information about the product. Please send me a message and I'll be happy to do that on our next episode. Till next time.